Hello and welcome, and by welcome I mean thank you, which is something that I have been sadly neglecting saying while I've been doing these videos. In the time I've been doing these videos since Season 7, Episode 3, Flurry of Emotions, I'm actually not sure that I have said thank you once to everyone who's been here for me. So thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for hitting like. Thank you for subscribing. And yes, if it's come to it, thank you for hitting that dislike button because at least then I know I'm maybe not getting something right. I'd prefer it if you'd hit dislike and then leave a comment to say what you didn't like about it. But hey, if you just want to hit that, I didn't like this, dislike it, then well, that works too. Well, I'm probably going to put something just as much at the end of the episode anyway. So well, let's not waste any more of your time and get on to watching A Health of Information, which is season Seven, episode 20. Thank you oh, and so it's African rhyming that. horse again. You never would have found the crisscross moss without you. Crisscross, okay. Retrieving it has been a difficult task. Well, yeah, one sneeze and you're going to rip your tail off. This is... There we go. Oh. Gee, I don't know. It's a pretty big pack, so maybe enough to fill up this sack? Okay, so the rhyming is contagious. What if it actually is? Okay. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, and sploosh. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. She's still equine. She can still swim. At least now I can easily grab all the crisscross moss there is to be had. That's, that's not moss. Okay, that's not good. What's happening to you? Honestly, it's hard to tell, but suddenly I don't feel so well. Oh dear. Ooh, she's 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 rotting. She's going moldy. That's not good. <coughs> oh, don't feel so well myself at the moment. Don't don't move the camera. Don't move the camera. There we go. Sorry, I had me wires crossed. So, is this going to be another one where someone gets sick, they're searching for a cure, and it turns out to have been the crisscross moss all along or something? Absolutely not. Oh, no, 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 I didn't need to see that. I didn't need to see that. That, um... Let's have a listen to the old <clears throat> ticker. That, that plays... Hmm. Hmm. She got jungle fever. I can't believe a flower did this. I take... Nah, it wasn't a flower. Flowers don't generally deliver spores like that. That was quite probably fungal. We're looking for any color other than red. Phew. <gasps> so, it's pure heroin? Afraid you have a very rare disease called swamp fever. Well, she lives around swamps. I've she... never heard of swamp fever, mind you. How have you never heard of swamp fever? I thought you'd heard of every disease. You're a healer, for oh. sake. Oh. The last stage, the afflicted turn into the very trees that drop the disease. Whoa! Okay, this is some... This is getting dark. This is, is suddenly taking a... The Last done? of Us turn. The cure has yet to be discovered. I'm sorry, Sakura. Hang on! Hmm. It's a lot to take. So in. she's just been told she's I'll dying. Leave you two to discuss. And he's very glib about this. Uh, this is MLP where we're not allowed to tell you anything specifically about death. But by the way, she's dying. The mystical mask, of course. My parents would tell me about it whenever I was sick in bed. I imagine that was a lot. If that's who we need to cure you, then I'm going to find her. And I know just the pony who can help. Okay, adventurous, let's try. Spike and I are having a cook-off. My cauliflower bites blew her sweet potato muffins out of the water. Well, it's nice to see Sli 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 Spike, Spike, Spike. Why could I not say Spike? I just majestically failed two words. So what'd she pick? The cauliflower bites, right? Uh, it's, yeah, bigger, bigger things going on at the moment, Spike. <sighs> That's the last book on ancient ponies, and still no mention of the mystical mask. Have you tried looking under M? Yes, and the books on rare diseases, the books on rare plants, and the entire section on bog habitation. And yet, that was still a picture of the specific tree, if you just compare the two together. Wow, okay, you're checking literally every book. Oh, dead end. Have you found anything yet, Twilight? <sighs> Twilight? Ah! I... Goodness, are you okay? We'd be a lot better off if we got some sleep. We've been at this for hours. Okay, so this seems like it's going to be a uh, flutter fluff heavy episode where uh, she's not just cowering or learning again to be assertive. I can't rest until Sakura is healed. 
I understand how you feel, but I still yeah, think we'd have more luck if we tried again in the morning. Uh, poor little flutter fluff. <sighs> Nine by thirteen inch pan. Yardstick pans! What an interesting nightmare. Sorry, but I figured out who the mystical mask is. The mystical mask was Mage Meadowbrook. Yeah, she's not slept. You can see the bags under her eyes there. She was also a healer, and back then, healers wore masks so they wouldn't get sick themselves. She's talking about plague doctors. Those, those creepy guys with the... So, so far, we've had a prognosis of certain death in reference to plague doctors. Because, hey, for kids! Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're leaving now? Of course! Well, yes, Twilight. Zakora is dying. Yeah? She's going to literally become a tree, which, while it may be Fluttershy's dream, probably not good to become a tree that infects people with a disease that turns them into trees. And that's when I realized the mystical mask was actually Mage Meadowbrook. <coughs> That's marvelous, Fluttershy. Yeah, should she's going to become a disease-bearing tree? Shouldn't should should she not be quarantined? Well, I suppose she's in her own home. Yeah, it's kind of quarantined, you know, out in the middle of the forest where that tree apparently already must be because you know it's infected her. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah, that's new. Okay, if you get quarantined, she needs to be weaponized. Phew. Well, um, if the doorway is sealed up. We just have to dig our way in. Up yeah, or, or you could, I don't know, knock on the door, look for the key, turn the handle. Or we could try the handle. <sighs> it really blends in with the bark. Yeah, poor thing is sleep deprived and stressed out that she's basically condemned someone. Look, it's the same kind of lily pad that gave the chorus swamp fever. Hmm. I wonder if Meadowbrook was looking for swamp fever with. fever too. <gasps> Do you think she found it? Yeah, or that so. could be her well, in the jar. Of ourselves. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You're making your excited squeaking noise. So that that actual excited squeak. <coughs> that's actually canon. They actually make that noise. Name's Cattail. Pleased to meet you. How does he fit that hair under that hat? We actually found one of her descendants. Okay, you you can't you can't presume that just because he's descended. He's got anything to do with the family business. Doesn't always work that way. This is good. It'll take us less time to go through everything. Oh, please, Flutter Fluff, get some sleep. Today, my mom made me eat peas. Peas are yucky. And we can probably skip this one. Unless she found a cure when she was a fool. Uh, you never know. Mozart wrote his first symphony at five. I have no idea if that's true or if I've got a misinformation there. Finally got it right. Oh, another <laughs> southern... Pony, okay. Oh god, oh god, that was a chipmunk! That was a chipmunk! No, oh, go with the note! I, I thought that was some kind of weird eldritch horror there. My very own healer's mask! It is, it's a plague doctor's mask! What caused this? Yeah. Okay, here's, here's the thing, we've, um... This thing infected me. I'm going to carry it around with me. If we don't find a cure soon, every pony will be in grave danger. No, every pony will be a tree. That spreads the disease. The flower's poison didn't affect the flash bees, and if they were immune to swamp fever, their honey could be the cure. Okay, that's kind of clutching at straws theorizing here, but honey has many magical, yeah, uh, mystical properties. She's going to get stuck. <laughs> Is find those aggressive flash bees and get them to give uh. us their honey. Of course, it doesn't say how she did that. You can talk to animals. Right. Ask My them for. Uh, oh no! Oh no! No! <gasps> oh no! 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 This. No. This. Um. Uh. So, she. She. Something good. She's gonna some. She's she's gonna find the cure. I mean, obviously, she's gonna find the cure. But she's she's. If you don't rest, your symptoms will only get worse. <laughs> the, 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 you, you need to sleep. You need to sleep. You need to stay calm. You need to rest. You need to breathe. Breathe. Breathe easy. Breathe careful. Breathe. 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 Oh, she, she's gonna be okay. And even if she's not, then she gets to be a tree. You're not gonna change my okay. mind. Okay. Being sick, she sure is strong. 
She's determined. Mind over matter. You need to rest. You need to get better. To, uh, get get. I don't know. Hello, flash bees. I was hoping I could. Oh, I hope you speak their language. Ah, uh, to know. I really need it. <sighs> I didn't want it to have to come to this, but I'll just have to use it. She's already. And well, don't hurt the flutter. Uh, take. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, they are really putting flutters through the mill here. Oh, dear. Oh, no. oh, oh, okay. That that was a tall trait. That was a very tall trait. Goodness gracious! <coughs> oh, she's getting worse quick. We got word your zebra friend has started sprouting leaves. She's already turning into a tree. I thought we'd have more time. Actually, you've been asleep for three days. <laughs> and you've not thought to get some of the honey for the cure in this time? I've wasted so much time. And now hang on there, Fluttershy. Those flash bee critters are tricky. It's only been about a, a day or two between Sakura's infection and hers. She's not got much longer left herself. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, she's just gonna look like a big one of them. You've got an alicorn with you. She can use all sorts of eldritch magic to just zap some of the honey out of there. Uh, uh, Whoa! Oh, there's no time to waste. Hooves crossed. Hooves crossed. Well, you can't really go much more than that, can you? Twilight, it's working. Yeah, it's, don't take it off. Don't take it off. That's... Mm. Oh! Oh! Okay, that was... that was nasty. If not for you, I would not be cured. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a fancy way of saying you just saved my life. I certainly learned that if you don't take care of yourself, you won't be able to take care of any pony else. Well, that, that kind of seems like a bit of a tacked-on sentiment. All along, maybe I would have thought to use Meadowbrook's mask sooner. How... <laughs> Could you possibly Please have tell thought... me about the cure? <laughs> oh yeah, now you're interested in the cure. Now you don't want to just leave them to it to, to, to go through and figure out, hey, well, what, we'll talk about this. No, no, no. Now, now you want in. As doctors go, he is one of the worst. Well, there was a lot in that one that kind of ran a bit close to the dark edge of existence, really, wasn't there? Infection with something that will then turn you into so that's basically a parasitic organism overtaking the host and turning it into something else that is death yeah what we just saw was someone being condemned to death so hasbro who've never put anything like this into their stuff yeah they've just shown you oh yeah by the way this character's just got a death sentence. Okay, we know they're going to be cured by the end of it, but still, that is... that is dark. And very difficult to make light of. They obviously tried with that doctor who said, you know, by the way, here's this, you're going to turn into a tree. Technically, she'll be alive as a tree. She's not going to be Zakora anymore. One can only presume that this is a tree with the sapience of a tree, or the alternative, of course, is that it's a tree with their intelligence trapped in a tree. And that is horrifying. I apologise for lack of cogence and coherence in this little first impressions roundup here, but that was nightmarish. But that doctor then to say, I know this is a lot to take in. I'm going to leave you to it. Bye! And just cheerfully trot out and tr tr try and avoid it. That, you know, you, 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 you try and make light of it, that's not something you can really make light of. I mean, in that room, you've got someone who is either going to die or spend the rest of eternity trapped in a tree, literally in the tree, and their friend, who blames herself for it, and then just to, to, to try and make light of that, you're not going to be able to do it. Did it show that I got a little bit panicky when uh, Flutter Fluff started to show the symptoms as well? Though, oh, that was that. I wasn't expecting that. I thought they were going to have to find the cure for Zakora, and that was it. And then she had it, and my heart may have stopped just a little bit for a fraction of a second there. I would like to add on a little note for Hasbro, though, that I know it helps 
if every cartoon, every episode has a nice little moral, a lesson to learn. And given that the show started basically about learning life lessons in season one with Twilight learning everything and then season two where everyone else is learning everything. But it doesn't always have to be in every episode. In this case, tacking on that lesson about having to look after yourself so that you can look after everyone else, you know, you've got to take responsibility for your health as well as trying to fix everything that you've got wrong. That detracted hugely from the actual episode when they when she said i certainly learned that if you don't take care of yourself you won't be able to take care of any pony else that just felt so tacked on that you took a great sentiment about friends helping friends and then just, oh by the way here's this and there you go you're out of that moment it would have been, for me anyway, so much better if you just left it as a great big adventure episode and just not had that whole thing about Fluttershy not taking care of herself as the lesson. Sure, leave it in, in general, that she's not taking care of herself, but explain it some other way. You know, have her fall asleep for three days after she saved Zakora and then just go, oh yeah, she was so busy taking care of Zakora, not looking after herself that she she's fallen unconscious for three days don't turn it into a lesson that has to be learned just have it as a story element other than that though this was for me a very enjoyable adventure episode because it had fluttershy being evolved it didn't have her as we learned in fame and misfortune learning the same lesson again about being assertive it just featured her going on an adventure she wasn't cowering away from everything she has come so far and they didn't just push that into the background for the convenience of the story and that was wonderful well, my neighbours have decided to play their music now, and there's not really a lot more I can say about this episode anyway. So, other than that, all there really is left to say is, again, thank you for watching. And I am so sorry that I've not said that before. If you've liked this video or any video in the past, thank you. If you did like the video, then feel free to hit the like button again. If you didn't like the video, then, again, hit the dislike button. But if you do that, please leave a comment telling me what you didn't like about it. To anyone who's already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for that. It means so much to me. Anyone who wants to subscribe to my channel after seeing this video, subscribe button is right there and thank you for doing so. And if you want to support my channel, get in on the internal blog and maybe chuck a few bucks my way. There is a Patreon on screen. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now. But I'm not going to dwell on that because as I keep saying, it's not a believe tree. I'm going to keep doing this. Well, at the risk of getting sappy, thank you again for watching. And until next time, who's crossed?